JM on Cars is kindly sponsored by Car Vertical, the only car history checking service you'll need, which references more than 20 databases globally to make sure you don't buy a car with a hidden past. For a special discount on the service, please use the link in the description down below. And now, today's feature presentation. Hello everybody. In my last video, I drove a 2010 Mercedes GL 450 diesel. And I promised that the next car I was going to drive would be about as different from that as you can possibly get. Well, now I'm driving a 1976 Lancia Fulvia. Can we all agree this is as different as they come? Now, I've been lured up here to lovely Leicestershire by its owner, Stefan, who has, over the last five years, been restoring this car. And I am currently absolutely terrified because I'm pretty convinced I am going to destroy this car not intentionally it is without a doubt one of the most difficult things I have ever driven mostly because this throttle pedal is horrible yes please lights stay green stay green I don't even know how to get this indicators working oh I am making a hash of this that's first that's second dog leg oh this is not nice oh, flipping hell this thing has some Weber carburetors on it in place of the original Solex ones. They're not actually real Webers, they're Chinese Webers. Because of the path that the throttle cable takes, it is, um, yeah, a huge amount of force is required to get this throttle pedal to move even a little bit. And then once it does move, it's just, it just jumps up. It's such a keen thing to rev this. The little 1300cc V4 makes about 90 horsepower, or did once upon a time. That's made it to a reasonably lightweight car, weighs about a ton all in. Not especially quick. Five speeds with synchro mesh, which is quite nice. And now I've got out of town. Oh, I can relax just a little bit. Once we're on the move, it's actually quite pleasant. And isn't this a glorious thing to look at? It's a real stunner, this car. I absolutely love it. Makes a great noise too. Very classic interior, very typical 1970s sports car. It means it's tiny, has this perforated white stuff on the roof, which everybody loves. I, I kind of like it. I might have a new car, and I might get that put in the roof. That's, that's really cool, that's old school. Wooden steering wheel, really beautiful. It's only the second Lancia that I've ever driven. Now, Fulvia, I do believe, is also another car which had quite a bit of success in competition. I don't, how, do, how do you even operate these indicators? I don't know. Oh, this is, yeah, this is really awkward to drive. I'm not enjoying this at all. So, we're hopefully going to get this on a road where I might actually have a chance to enjoy it at the moment, but right now, I wouldn't say that I am. It's a shame, really, because it looks and sounds glorious. And yeah, at 50 mile an hour, actually, it's um, quite enough for this little car. I really know very, very little about it. So I kind of feel bad that, you know, I've been offered to go with this car. I'm sure there are many other people out there that could have done a little bit better of a job. So instead, I would invite all those people watching this video who know everything there is to know about the Fulvia to pop into the comments down below and, and just tell me, you know, interesting things about it. What sets this apart? I do know this being, it's a Scoupe, it's a Series 3. It's registered apparently as a rally, but it's not a rally. That was a different version. They had lots of different versions of these. As a Zagato as well, you could get all sorts. And this, I think, is one of the prettiest looking. It reminds me very much of the sort of Alfa Romeos of the same time period. Uh, that pedal is just, yeah. I know it doesn't sound that bad, but it really, really is. You cannot modulate this at all. Brake pedal is actually fine. By this, you know, by old car standards, brake pedal is no trouble at all. Clutch is fine as well. Clutch is really good, actually. <laughs> That's a lot of racket, but not a lot of speed. 
oh yes, the GL450 was way out of its depth on this road. Lancia, much happier. I gotta remember, it's a very basic car, basic suspension. Never in history, not since I did that Civic review, have I made so much noise and made so little progress. Steering's quite good actually, very, very well connected for a 1970s car, which actually really is a 1960s design. Um, 70s cars can be okay, but yeah, really it's a 60s thing, let's be honest here. Um, steering actually feels quite good, say compared to the old Ford Cortina, that was horrible steering. But then the engine in that was much, much peppier, that's a, that's a great engine actually. Yeah, once you're driving this car, it, all, it actually becomes a little bit easier, but it's just the, the slow speed stuff modulating it, it's, it's almost impossible. <laughs> ah! Oh, if you've come to watch me being out of my comfort zone, this is really it. Oh, I'm not happy at all. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I just can't control it. Oh no, I have to slow down now, which means I have to speed up again. Oh no. <sighs> I, I, yeah, cannot for the love of me work out how these, these indicators just do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I give up. I give up with those. No, no, modern cars. Gonna let that man and his dog walk and do what he's doing. Don't stall in the middle of the road, James. Don't stall in the middle of the road. Don't crash the car. Don't stall the car. Don't stop in the car because the. Oh. Yeah, this is not fun. Fun is not being had right now. Oh, this is not what I'd hoped was going to happen today. I am going to wimp out. Yeah. I'm calling time on this car. I'm not enjoying this. This is dangerous to drive. Oh, there we go. That's probably gonna be a very, 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 very short review. And I'm going to be begging to drive the Mercedes home. We're gonna do drive-bys in a second. Looks great, sounds great. Interior is really pretty. Feels very well put together again with the caveat being it's a 1970s Italian car. A lots and lots of time and effort has gone into building this thing, so I feel very bad about this, but yeah, I'm not... No, this is not safe. Sorry, everyone. I feel like I've let you down. Oh, well. Lovely once you actually get into a groove with it, but I, the throttle, I just can't work. It's just not possible. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.